Welcome back guys. This is Robin, your host for Mokja Shekia. Today we're gonna check out the famous hash house Agogo for their chicken and waffles and chicken pot pie. Let's go! Alright guys, here we just arrived at the world famous hash house Agogo. They got 11 locations across the US, mostly here in Nevada, Las Vegas. They got one in San Diego, they got one in New Jersey, uh, they got one in Utah and Connecticut and of course Orlando, Florida. So inside guys, it's kind of got that American diner look. It's a good mid-sized diner and on the left you have the sit down by the bar and they got some high, high chairs. Here we got the wall of all the famous people who came and ate the famous chicken and waffles from Hash House Ogogo. Today is our second time here at this uh, West Sahara branch just off the strip. Uh, we didn't want to eat on the strip because it's just too crazy. So here we got the menu. Now, of course, this is why we're here. We're here for the world famous chicken and waffles. So we got this and the ginormous chicken pot pie that you will see. Uh, it was massive. Definitely, it's not for one person. It can feed at least two, possibly three if you're a tiny man. And uh, yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, I still would say uh, I didn't like it as much as the uh, Benedict, um, but it was still delicious and I loved it. I uh, thought the chicken was on point as far as cooking. It wasn't too dry. Uh, I felt the breading was just light enough. I'm actually getting watery just talking about it. Uh, but I did need the syrup. I think the syrup helped it really to um, kind of balance everything out because I think with the waffles, it did become a little bit too dry. So you need a little bit of moisture if you're gonna eat it with the waffles. And of course you got that beautiful uh, presentation with the rosemary and the giant steak knife. Well, I'm from LA, so I have to compare this to Roscoe's chicken and waffles. And for me personally, I think it's, there are different types of chicken and waffles, but I think I like Roscoe's a little bit more. I was a little bit disappointed with the chicken and the waffle, and I don't think I would order this again. Next up is the chicken pot pie. I ordered the chicken pot pie because I needed a little uh, kind of a soothing southern comfort food with some chicken and lots of delicious mashed potatoes underneath. It was ginormous. I had a lot of delicious uh, chicken in it and the broccoli and the gravy was delicious. It was just on point. It wasn't overly salty and also the breading. Uh, the breading was crispy, but it was super dry. So um, it's super thick. I think that's the reason. Uh, it's huge. It's a ginormous oversized uh, pot pie. So everything is just thicker. Um, so on the bottom, as you guys can see, is all the mashed potatoes. Uh, my fiance really liked the mashed potatoes there. It was, it was clean. It wasn't too buttery. It was more potato than butter. Overall, I definitely like the pot pie more than the chicken and waffles. So as I mentioned guys, this is our, our second go here at Hash House Ogogo and I know they're famous for their world famous chicken and waffles but to be honest, I recommend the Andes uh, Fried Chicken uh, Benedict. This was actually a lot better. Uh, we got this the first time we came around uh, into Vegas and uh, I thought this was a more tastier dish. Also the fried green tomato stack. Uh, this is amazing. The presentation is just spectacular. Uh, it's great for photos. It also tasted really good with the chicken salad and the watermelon on the bottom. So I recommend these two dishes, guys, next time you guys are here. They also have the Hash House to go go. So if you guys ever want to get these on the go or if you want to cater it to a party nearby, if you live in Vegas, check them out, guys. All right. Peace.